This is Alex, the architect for back 4 app and in today's episode of our Parse Crash course, we'll keep talking about relational data. We saw on previous episodes how to store a one-to-one -one and one-to-many relations and how Parse uses the pointer type to keep those relations. Today, we'll see a many-to-many -many relation. So, as we saw in previous episodes also, Z makes lots of blog posts to our blog. And I'm going to create a class called likes, which will uh, store the likes a, a person has for those posts. So, if I come back to my code here, the first thing I have to do is to retrieve my person so I can like those posts. So, we do that by typing let person equals parse dot object dot extend person and I'm going to query for my user so let query person equals new parse dot query and pass my person there and I'm going to filter for my own name so query person dot equal to name Alex and I'm going to create a new object called let my person equals query person dot first this will bring the very first person on the database that matches this query but this is a synchronous call so I have to put an await here just to be sure it worked I'm going to console Oops. log my name and my person dot get name if I save it and go back to my terminal not index.js there you go I have my name there so now I want to create a relation to my person to the likes from the uh, post from Z so we'll do that by type my person dot relation and give it a good name so likes also i'll have to retrieve these posts so i can like them we'll do that by typing let post equals parse dot object dot extend post and then we'll have to query for those posts so let post query equals new parse dot query and as the post there since I'm going to like all these posts I'm not going to use any kind of method to filter those so I'll just bring an array so let result equals post query dot find but this is also an asynchronous method so I have to put an await here this will bring a array, so I have to look through those results. So for let i equal zero, i is smaller than result dot length i plus plus. And I'm going to print the title for those posts, which will be the result index i and type. If I come here and type node index.js, you see I have my name here and the blog, blog posts. Now I should add those posts to the relation I created called likes. Uh, there are two different ways I can do that. I could come here and type let relation equals my person relation likes oops and add this those posts here one by one so result index i and this will look through the results and add one by one or i can just type relation 
dot add and pass the whole result array. It will understand it's an array and loop through it by itself. And in the very end, I can just call my person dot save. I come back here and node index.js. Now if I go back to my Safari and reload, Incoming person, find my person here. You see now I have a likes property, which is the type relation. And if I click relation, you see all these posts here in the relation. This is much more efficient to query for than using arrays. So every time you have too much data to be uh, linked to another class, you should prefer to use relations instead of arrays. Okay? So I hope you will like this episode and hope to see you on the next video. So see you soon. Bye bye.